Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today I want to go over the essence of speed. Showing you the reasons why I'm deciding to use something like Redis and the power of this amazing piece of software. Uh, it's a NoSQL database. I, I've, I've done enough videos on it. So I just want to do you, uh, show you some pr uh, performance checks and benchmarks on it. So I'm going to first show you the performance in C. Now, originally I want to do C++, but I'm, gonna, I'm right now doing it in C. I'm going to show you why. All right. So with Redis, it's an open source NoSQL database. It allows you to, uh, it has a, a huge amount of support for various languages. We have C, C++, and then I'm going to show also Java, hopefully. And um, let me just show you the C++. I, I've checked out a lot of these, all of these for C++. If you're a newbie or haven't looked at, in my case, at C++ in a long time, like we're talking serious time. <laughs> um, a lot of these are just no good. They don't show you how to build things, but Fortunately, in C, there's one called High Redis, which is from the author of Redis itself, and he's maintaining this library. So that means it's also up to date. So with that in mind, I'm going to show you uh, the code um, for Redis. I'm sorry, High Redis. That's again C. The advantages here with C is maybe just maybe with my simulink models and code generation of course I can code generate in C itself it's an easier language the performance is probably the same as C++ I'm not going to sit here and split hairs over it but at the end of the day I got it working and that's all I really care about and I want to show you some of the benchmarks so in my blog I've got um, various tips but the one real focus I want you to really pay attention to is this example of uh, pipelining in C or using C with Redis. This is probably the fastest way to do mass inserts into Redis um, and uh, I just want to show you some of the performance. I'm going to walk you through this code and I've got my own uh, version of this. Um, so I'm sure you don't care about any of this stuff. So. Let's just get into the uh, examples that I have. I have two. Th the example here that you're looking at is the original example I just showed you. This one is an added parameter I've used, uh, added on the command line. So uh, let me just give you a rough idea how this works. So I'll just load up my own. Uh, and basically what it is, if I go down to the main function, uh, what we have here is um, we have uh, your usual uh, arguments that are accepted, but it's going to take three arguments. Of course, it's going to take uh, the actual bin itself, the bin file itself, plus two additional, um, two additional uh, arguments. So the first one's the regular one that you'll see in the in the uh, original, uh, I just showed you that source file. Uh, this is just a flag to insert or to query. That's it. This one is the amount of how many rows do you want to insert, how many rows do you want to um, a query on. So I've added that. Um, I've added and I called it num, um, and that's pretty well it. So down here you can um, fill with zero or query okay the only thing that's changed is this this third parameter this num parameter so essentially everything else stays the same that's all I want to show you right now before I go into a more detailed walkthrough so just just as a highlight um, let me just pull up my uh, uh, original here. Now in this link, this is also critical if you're fairly new or like me who doesn't really know a lot about, uh, well I know a lot about compiling and linking, but just as a refresher because I haven't done it in so long. You can follow these compilation lines. Obviously you're going to put example.c 
and same here in the linking. Everything else stays the same. I'm going to show you how I built this in a bit, but let's just to get the speed demons out of the way and show you what I've done. All right, so what we've got here is I've got Redis server running. We're about to run. Now, also, I want you to understand it's running in standalone mode. I have shown a video on how to do replication and slave and master all that cool stuff. So, um, we have the example. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in, uh, 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 actually, let me just change that. I'm going to do an insert, which is zero for the first uh, parameter, and the number of rows we're going to insert. So, it's going to be 10. So, it's going to say number of inserts to process 10. This is the amount of time it takes with Redis running. Now, just to prove to you, if I did, was to do that again, you'll get a connection refused because the server is now dead. Now it's running, no problem. So knowing that, let's do 100. So now we're moving up to 0 .006588 uh, seconds, basically. So that's cool. But let's do uh, 1,000, or better yet, 10,000. So because of the number of inserts, it's going to take 0 .69 uh, whatever seconds, OK? Now, um, if I want to do 100,000, it's pretty pretty fast. It takes a little bit longer. Um, I believe it takes up to six seconds or something like that. Uh, yeah, so it's about seven seconds. Now, I don't want to do a million. I'm, I'm not here to bore you to death with that. So knowing that on those parameters or benchmarks for inserting, now we're going to uh, do some queries. Now, on top, I'm going to show this in a little bit. What you have to understand is that it's going to go out, uh, create the connection, do a query, and it's going to be using batching, so we're using pipelining. Uh, on top of that, it's going to clean up the memory, and all of that processing is, is measured. So when I do these queries, it's going to include everything, including the connection and the teardown. Or I'll show you in the, uh, in the uh, source code, but let, let's do the metrics here. So to do a query on 100 takes 0.004 seconds so I'm going to do a thousand takes 0 0.002 seconds uh, 10,000 0.020 0 0.02 seconds that's pretty peppy for 10,000 now I'm going to do 100,000 it's still under a second so it's 0 0.2 seconds now if I was to do a million how long do you think it'll take this is a million, so it took only two seconds to query a million. Um, so uh, hopefully I've got all my metrics right. So let's take a look at the code. Now, of course, I could be wrong in the calculations here, but that's why I'm, I'm, I'm showcasing this, because if I'm wrong, I want somebody out there to, 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 to tell me uh, where I'm wrong, because... Uh, you know, obviously, I don't want to come off uh, put pulling off a, a smoke and mirror kind of show here. Um, so what we're doing is here um, in the main function, as I said, uh, we are accepting two parameters. It's a flag for insert or query. We're also accepting number of um, rows to process. Like I said, we do a, a, a connect. Um, I've shown that if, if the server is not running, the Redis server um, does a command to reset everything. And here we're starting our first um, instance to start the clock here. So, do, do, so I'm, let me just show you that. So it's going to either do based upon that flag here on the argument, if it's zero, do the fill, basically the insert, or if it's one, or anything else other than zero, uh, it'll do a query. And it's going to pass in each one the number of ro uh, rows to work with. Or my relational database days, that's what you call them, rows. So again, here at the end, we um, basically stop the clock and print how many seconds it took. Okay, so it uh, does some cleaning up, 
frees up some resources. But I think I'm wrong when I just stated. So what we're timing is on the exact fill or query functions. That's it. So I, I you know, I said we, you know, it also takes into account connection and freeing up memory and all that. That's not the case. It's just using um, measuring, benchmarking the fill and the query method. So here's the the, the fill method. Um, as I mentioned, um, here's here's the um, the connection context, the flag, and the number of rows. Call it that. So it sets up some data. Here it's a long, just so everybody knows. Does a, a query to do a select. Um, so we flush the database. Um, and now I just want to do a check how many rows we're uh, displaying. This is um, rows of processing and up here I showed how many um, inserts. So that's what we're looking at right now, this one right here, number of inserts. So basically what we're doing is we're doing now a loop. And this is commented out just so you know. So we're now just doing straight up inserts. How many uh, inserts based upon that num on this uh, parameter here that you pass into on the command line and essentially it's just going to do uh, a raw insert of whatever we specify so if I do a uh, hundred thousand or uh, ten or a hundred it's going to be do based upon the number of iterations I allow all right so um, if there's any errors uh, print them out blah 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 okay now um, let's talk about the query. It's a little more complicated. We have the same arguments, the context for connection into the Redis server, the flag, which is obviously going to be one, and the number of rows to process. Alright, so this is where it gets a little wonky. Um, we can set a, a batch. How many, um, like what's the number of rows we're going to batch at one time? So we can set that to 100. You'll notice here we, we, we can turn that off by just setting that batch to being one. So we're going to remove pipelining if we decide to not use batching by setting batch equals to one. So we do some sanity checks here to do the select. We malloc, uh, allocate some memory. Now here's the, the loop. So um, we've got a long here. Um, which is L for long, obviously, in, in the iteration. The number, now this can get a little screwy, um, so I'm hoping I'm doing this correct on the masking and the casting and all that. Um, and then from there, um, all we do is we just do a raw, um, uh, we run this however many times uh, based upon the number of rows divided by the batch size um, and then from there we do the query so we do another inner loop of raw um, selects um, and then we have here uh, some data we can capture on um, our, our data when it's returned and then um, we want to read all our, our, our uh, replies in memory and then it looks like we do another uh, set of read inserts so we do more read and ignore okay so that's what we've been doing um, but hopefully this is correct <laughs> um, new to all the redis and all that so hopefully this is all good um, but I just want to show the the benchmarks that we're getting on Redis with the different um, metrics. So if we're uh, doing mm, 100,000 reads on a select, and uh, or is that a million? It takes us uh, um, you know about seven seconds. But if we're doing 10,000, and still be able to do it under uh, a second, that's pretty quick. Um, because you got to remember, this isn't a virtual machine. Uh, this little guy is running um, in its own separate um, process on a virtual machine, which is an i7, and uh, it's a fairly old system. Um, and the total amount of RAM that's allocated to it 
in virtual machine and virtual uh, in um, virtual uh, sorry VMware is close to um, four yeah it's like four gigs pretty close so that's all we allocated to to this okay um, so you can imagine if we had a faster uh, processor okay on top of uh, more memory so if we were to throw in I don't know um, you know a gig uh, sorry a, a terabyte online this this thing would be pretty pretty impressive I guarantee you it but just just from the metrics and, and the benchmarks I'm getting on a four gigabyte in a virtual machine that's that's not bad for 10,000 okay and it'll be much much faster uh, and so um, yeah uh, so we got let me just make sure I'm getting my numbers here so for 100,000 takes 0.2 seconds for a million uh, from what I understand it's two, 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 two seconds so if I'm right or wrong let me know and uh, uh, what you think because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a pure message queuing where we have C++ uh, feed into Redis and at the other end we're going to have uh, using Java to read the those those uh, rows that we insert in. The whole idea here is you've seen my simulating C or C++ models generated by MATLAB so this is where uh, this would be represented on uh, in that C code. Now, if I have the data being and 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 calculated through some kind of trading algorithm, stuffed into um, a uh, into a Redis uh, server on top of, we can have our usual um, master and slaves to enhance the performance. Um, and we just generate signals or or some kind of uh, orders into Redis or a general queue. Um, you can see how fast it is. And because it's open source, I can have as many separate Redis instances as I want. Uh, it's virtually true infinite, you know, scaling to infinity if I really wanted, just based around the hardware that I that I, I allocate and assign. So this is why I use Redis. It's very powerful um, with these kind of numbers I'm hoping I'm getting it right uh, a million takes two seconds to read that's pretty peppy um, and I'm pretty happy with it hopefully uh, you will be too if you start using Redis talk to you later